welcome to the sr knowledge center greetings to all my young learners i am faculty of history at srn international school jagatpura japan my dear listeners today we will be discussing about the french revolution we will be discussing about the causes of french revolution we will be discussing about the reasons for the outbreak of the french revolution and we will also be discussing that why out of all the revolutions this revolution is regarded as the most important event in the world history stating my dear listeners the french revolution which actually started in 1789 and the period till napoleon bonaparte ruled over france and he was defeated by the coalition forces of britain russia austria hungary was actually 1815 at the battle of waterloo hence in this french revolution we will be understanding the basic concepts the reasons for the outbreak of the french revolution and everything from 1789 to 1815 one more thing friends the french revolution is regarded as one of the very important event in the history of the world because this was the only revolution which talked about the rights of the human beings for example liberty equality fraternity liberty is freedom equality all should be equal fraternity is brotherhoodness earlier before this french revolution nobody talked about the rights of the individuals of the human beings and since this entire revolution happened because of the rights of the individuals hence this revolution is regarded as one of the most important event in the world history yes my dear learners on 14 july 1789 this was that date when the entire paris was in a state of alarm this was the date when the bastille prison which was considered as the despotic power of the then monarch was being attacked and was being stormed down by the protesters several hundreds of people thousands of people moved towards the bastille prison and they stormed the entire prison because of the storming of the prison which was the despotic power of the monarch on this 14th of july 1789 this particular date and the storming of the bastille is considered as the outbreak of the french revolution the starting of the french revolution so as mentioned as i have informed you earlier my young learners that bastille which was being hated by everybody and the reason for the hatred was because that particular prison represented the despotic power of the king that was only reason that the entire people public citizens of paris hated bastille and on 14 july they attacked bastille and they stormed the city right so because of this destruction on 14 july 1789 because of this development where the masses the mob attacked down the despotic power which was the symbol of the despotic power that is bastille this 14 july 1789 is regarded as the outset the starting of the french revolution so now let's focus and discuss the causes of the french revolution such a great revolution the outbreak of any revolution cannot take place without the causes behind it so let us understand discuss the causes behind the french revolution 
The first reason for the outbreak of the French Revolution was the despotic rule of Louis XVI. My dear young learners, Louis XVI was from a Bourbon dynasty and he ascended to the throne in the year 1774. He was married to an Australian princess called as Mary Antoine. During that time when he ascended to the throne, France was helping the American colonies to fight a war against Britain. And because of that war, the financial resources of France got drained. And with that war added a billion livres a debt on the French economy. Livre was a currency of France during that time. And because of that, that debt was increasing, increasing year by year, and it leads to the level of 2 billion livres. Right? So because of that war where France was actually helping the 13 American colonies against Britain, because of that, the financial condition of the treasury, French treasury was very poor, and the debt of France was increasing day by day, year by year. So, now let us discuss the second reason for the outbreak of this French Revolution. The second reason for the outbreak of the French Revolution was the division of the French society. My dear learners, the French society was divided on the basis of the system of feudalism. That means it was divided into three states. The first estate, the second estate and the third estate. More importantly, over here, the first and the second estate used to enjoy all kind of privileges, but the third estate had no privileges. And because of this discriminatory policy, because of this discrimination, the, this division of French society became one of the reasons for the outbreak of the French Revolution. So, Young learners, as I have mentioned in the earlier slide, that the French society were divided into three estates the first estate, the second estate, and the third estate. Over there, a huge discrimination was taking place. The first and the third, second estate were enjoying all kinds of privileges, but the third estate had no privileges. They were being burdened with taxes and everything. In the first estate, we had the clergy, clergy were the individuals from the church, Roman Catholic Church. And in the second estate, we had nobles, that is the individuals who were holding higher ranks, higher offices in the moment, in the monarchy. In the third estate, we had common people, that is rich people, businessmen, workers, peasants, farmers, and everyone. Then, as I mentioned you, that the first estate and the second estate together comprises of only 2 to 5 percent of the entire French population. But the third estate were comprising of 90 to 95 percent population of France. Total 40 percent land was being holded by first and the second estate, but the third estate had 60 percent ownership of the land. As I have told you, my dear learners, that the first and the second estate had no obligation to pay taxes. However, the first estate, that is the clergy, used to levy one taxes on the third estate that was Tete, and the monarch, that is the second estate, used to levy one taxes on the third estate that is called as Tele. Right? So all the burden of the taxes were levied on the third estate itself. So the another reason for the outbreak of the French Revolution was subsistence crisis. The first reason for the outbreak of the French Revolution which we have studied was the empty treasury because of the war. Second which we have read was the division of the French society. The third is subsistence crisis. What is subsistence crisis, my dear friends, my dear young learners? The population of France rose from 23 million to 28 million. This increase in 
increase of the population of France by 5 million was in around, you can say, six decades. But over the period of time, with the increasing population, the production of food grains didn't increase. Hence, the demand of food grains was increasing, but the supply was less. And the salary, the wages of the workers were not also increasing, due to which the workers had no money to purchase even the basic bread. So the gap between the rich and the poor was increasing. With the increasing population, the food grains production didn't increase. Second, with the increase in the prices, the workers' salary also didn't increase. Hence, the workers were unable to buy even a basic bread to fill their belly. Hence, this crisis, this crisis of survival was actually the subsistence crisis and this became one of the reasons for the outbreak of the French Revolution. I hope the three causes which we have read today, that is the empty treasury, the despotic power of the king, second was the division of the French society and the third was the subsistence crisis. Also, we have tried to focus on the importance of the French Revolution in the world history. I hope you all must have understood these basic concepts. If you have loved my explanation, my video, do like, share, comment and subscribe to SRN Knowledge Center. Thank you so much everyone. We will be discussing further about the causes of the French Revolution in the further videos. Thank you so much everyone. God bless you all.